G'day guys and welcome back to uh, another Let's Go Hunting with Savage video. I uh, wasn't expecting to make this one, but I was planning. Uh, there was a new species released, which is the ptarmigan, and lives up here in the Alps of Valdebois. So I was not really expecting them to come out so early, since there was a summer fiesta going on, but I'm actually really excited to go hunt these. So this is pretty much going to be a bit of a first look. Uh, I have gone hunt, I did go out for a hunt uh, for them before, and I got a couple, or a few, I should say. But yeah, we're just gonna go have a good look for them today. Uh, here I got my tent, which is right above the climbing, uh, the climbing place just above this lodge here. And I believe, well, we'll pretty much go my usual route for Ibex is go up on top of this hill here, and then up this valley, because you can get up this spot here, and then probably up, right up the top, out, round, down, and then possibly back up here, oh. and then I might end up actually going right down to the, the southern lodge here, and then go check out this area, depending on how much uh, action we get today, I'm not, I do have noticed that the time again are really really small they're absolutely tiny and they're very very hard to see at a distance so I'm going to continue on I've got the 33 British with me today and just for Ibex I've got the 12 gauge pump action shotgun if you get any sort of close up action you'll be able to shoot little ptarmigans and then the 22 pistol for any sort of long range shots but yeah, I'll continue on, and basically I'll get you guys to tune back in when we've got any action around. Just while I'm looking around, uh, so I'll just express my thoughts on them, uh, the hunter adding the time again. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually quite, a, oh, quite happy that they added it. Uh, small game hunting is definitely something that the game should, like, really expand on. Although not a, lot, not a lot of people do like it, but I especially do. As you probably saw in the last video, I went around for some Cobbledale Rabbits and got quite a few. Uh, that was actually really fun. But yeah, it's definitely something to expand on, just all the small game hunting, using like the small caliber rifles and little pistols and shotguns and stuff like that. It was something that sort of needed to be added. Um, but yeah, I'm actually, yeah, it was something that they needed to be added, and yeah, something that I actually can go get some fun out of. Not a lot of people seem to have, yeah, really, like, liked them, because, uh, yeah, they were sort of, like, expecting, you know, a big game animal, they wanted something that was exciting and dangerous and they could play around with a lot. And I can sort of see where they're coming from, they want something big and exciting to go after, but this is a bit more of a smarter move, I reckon. Obviously there's there's room for animals such as wolves and things like that to be added, but at the point the game is now, Ptarmigan was actually quite a good choice. Oh, I see some. They're really so small and really hard to see, but either that rock that's sort of in the middle of the screen. Uh, there's one just to the left and one just below to the right. Two ptarmigan. Let's see if there's any more around. It's really hard to try and spot them because they're so small and there's like so much cover around for them to hide. Really hard to see. Oh, there's another one. I'll creep up closer. Oh, there's another one. Look like they're moving up this way, so I might get up on top here and then see if I can try and find them again 
Yeah, they're moving up to the left here. So yeah, I'll get up on top here and see if I can try and take some shots. Awesome. Oh, there's one. There we go. Shotgun out. Got him. There go the others. Wrong gun. Oh, lots of them. Alright, we'll have to go find them. So. Alright, cool, we got our first one. <laughs> Bit of surprise, 10.7 meters. <laughs> yeah, that was that was what I was saying before. Um sorry how the these ones flew up, went straight up and then turned around and ducked out the other way. Which is really cool, whereas if it was a pheasant, a pheasant would just like fly straight towards you and you get really surprised because it's pretty much in the face. Get our first time again for the hunt. Yeah, nice have done actually. Got all the feathers on the feet and everything. I won't take a trophy shot. Let's continue on trying to find these other ones. Get as many as you can. This problem is finding them. <laughs> They'll make a cool little noise when they fly up as well. Is that one there? It is. See how small they are and hard they are to see. Like very well camouflaged. Mm. Oh. <sighs> Aim's not the best. Got the drop right now. Got him. Alright, one's up there. Where are the others? There's two more. Got him. Got her. Another one. Got him. <laughs> this is fun. See any more? Oh, but flapping. Oh, my backs. I'm not worried about that. That's some flapping though. Where? Yeah, I hear flapping. Where? Oh, there. I got it, nice. I'm gonna ping that one because that's the one I'm probably gonna forget. Mm. No. Alright, there's probably still some more around, so we'll just get, get the shotgun out just in case. Oh. 
awesome. That was really cool. Now I believe this one is female, isn't it? Different colored feathers. Female, yeah. 507. So it seems like the score is of the weight. Let's have a look at the feathers. Yeah, they're really cool. I like them. Really cool looking. Awesome. And collect these. Oh, there goes one. Wrong gun, wrong gun. <laughs> I just gotta remember that my shotgun's in slot 2 and not slot 1. I generally have a bow in number 2 and me primary in number 1. But I've got me 303 in number 1. So yeah, cool. <laughs> There's another one, another little female. 504. Didn't even see her. Ran straight past her. There's one of the things, one up here. There's one up further. I was collecting. Not really too fast about looking at the score. Just keep an eye out for any more that are just hunkered down somewhere. Another one. Five nine six. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's big or not. Five nine six is bigger than the other ones. All the other ones are five hundred. I'll have to check the leaderboard after. And another larger sort of one, I guess. I'm not sure. That looks like we got most of them actually. There probably was one still like hiding somewhere, but I'm not too fast. But yeah, I'll continue on route, see if we can find some more or any Ibex that are hanging around. But yeah, catch you guys then. Hm, there's an Ibex. Two Ibex. Three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> None of them are really fantastically big. Um, okay. Will I be able to? Oh, I can. can I have a crack. So which one though? I'm not entirely sure if I actually hit her or not. How was she? She was on there. Yeah, there. Alright, I'll have to go check that out. I might just take a really quick look down here before we do. Just in case there's any time again down here.
Oh, there's the Ibex dead there. <laughs> So I'll just ping her. Yeah. And I'm um, not finding any time again here. So I'll just continue on, go grab that Ibex. And then I might head over to that little point over there. And then down to the valley behind it. And then probably just make my way up the top up this ridge. Right up to the little gap up there. So if anything happens, I'll get you guys to uh, tune back in, and we'll continue on. Here's the Ibex. Yeah, intestines. 192 meters. Uh, just look up on this ridge here. Are you flapping? Where? I did hear flapping. Somewhere from over here. Oh, I can see one. Right over there. That's a long shot. I reckon I can make that. Oh. There they go. I'll see if we can still try and hit this one. Really close. Got him. Awesome. But then the other time you're gonna down over there that way. Right, gonna go have to find these. They're probably just down this little this little valley just down here. I guess they're not close, so mm. I'll grab I'll go up here and just grab this timing and then I shot earlier. And I guess I'll have to keep looking. <laughs> but they disappeared all so quick. Ibex still falling over there. Oh, male. Oh, I might go over there. Just because I think those time again are just going to be impossible to find. And here's me, little one. Score There's a timing right there. Shit. Come on. Got it. <laughs> I wasn't ex well, I was sort of wasn't expecting that. I just saw a flank ptarmigan track and I was like, um, okay. This is a female. I think the other one's a female as well. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really expecting that. Didn't even bloody see him. And not a female one. Nice. 
So, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is fast travel over to this lodge here, and then, like I said before, travel up here, save him find some more time again, some more Ibex, and probably down to this ledge, and maybe call it a hunt down that way. So yeah.